Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be comparing my iPad Pro to my MSI gaming laptop, which I have set up here. And it's actually been quite a while since I've <laughs> even switched it on. Because quite frankly, ever since I bought the iPad Pro, I kind of stopped using the MSI gaming laptop and I'm going to explain why. But first of all, I'm going to make myself a coffee using this Nescafe Instant Blend. You know, it's hard work making a video 10 minutes sometimes. And sometimes you just have to add in random footage of yourself making coffee. But unfortunately, that's the world we live in. Don't blame me. I didn't make the rules. If YouTube let me put mid-rolls on a 5-minute video, then I wouldn't have to make it 10 minutes, wouldn't I? Okay, so whilst we're waiting for the kettle to boil, let me talk about money and how much each of these devices cost. The MSI gaming laptop, laptop cost me £1,000, roughly, plus this wireless gaming mouse, which cost about £60, so about £1,000. And the iPad Pro cost me about £750, plus the pencil, plus the smart smart folio. Why is it called a smart folio? What, what does folio mean? Plus the smart cover. All in all, it cost me about £900, so they, they cost around the same price, £1,900-ish. So if you've got a spare £1,000 lying around, you might be wondering, should I get an MSI gaming laptop or an iPad Pro? And as someone who owns both devices and has used both of them for extended periods of time, I can easily, easily hands down say that the iPad Pro is a better purchase. Okay, so first of all, portability. Obviously the iPad Pro is a lot easier to hold, to lift, to carry around to put in your bag, then this massive MSI gaming laptop, which is actually a 15 inch, it's not a 17 inch, nearly drops my coffee cup. It's not 17 inch, it's a 15 inch model. And the 17 inch is even bigger, surprisingly. If you want to know the specs, they're written here. Let me get a zoom in. As you can see, the specs are written here, Core i7, eighth generation processor. Uh, we've also got an SSD, uh, where's the graphics card? You can just Google the model name and then it should come up with all the specs. Basically the specs are GTX 1060 um, 128 SSD plus a one terabyte hard drive and an i7. So it's pretty good, pretty good specs wise. So yeah, my first point, the iPad Pro is 100,000 times more portable. You can just slip it into your bag, you can one hand hold it. You can't one hand hold an MSI gaming laptop. It weighs a ton. Look, I'm going to try to one hand hold it. Like first we'll do two hands. Jesus, it weighs a ton. I can't even, I can barely hold it using one hand. Look, I'm trembling. I'm trembling. So if you're thinking about just nipping down to the coffee shop, well, you're going to need a massive bag to put that laptop in. I'd rather take an iPad Pro. Look, it's just so comfortable to use. It just sits in your hands so naturally, so perfectly. The balance is great. Look, I can just easily wave it around like it's some kind of fan. Perfect. Now, if we compare the screen sizes, obviously the 15 inch screen of the MSI gaming laptop is much bigger than the 11 inch iPad Pro screen. So if you want the bigger screen, obviously the MSI laptop is going to be better. Okay, so my kettle has boiled. Time for some coffee. That's how I like my coffee. I don't like that, you know, those fancy coffees. I like instant coffee in a plastic little stick where you can pour it out and it comes out as powder. Okay, so when it comes to gaming, obviously the MSI gaming laptop is a lot better than the iPad. There's better graphics on the gaming laptop. And you can get proper PC games. Just download Steam. You can play any game you want to. Rainbow Six, Minecraft, World of Warcraft. Unfortunately, the iPad Pro is fairly limited when it comes to games. And although there are a lot of PC ports of older games, you can also get Minecraft on iPad, which I've recently purchased so I can recreate my home, in case I'm feeling homesick. There are a lot of decent games on the iPad, but you, 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 can't play, you can't play the latest PC games on an iPad, and you won't be able to play games like Rainbow Six or World of Warcraft on the iPad. You're limited to the App Store, and there are you know, a lot of good iPad games, but they're just not as good as a proper Windows PC laptop for gaming. 
Also, another thing to consider is the control setups with the iPad. You're going to have to play games using a touch screen, which I don't have a problem with. I actually prefer the touch, touch screen when it comes to gaming. But for the laptop, well, for shooting games, mouse and keyboard is way better. And you can get a nice mouse like this one. And it just feels a lot more comfortable to play certain games on the laptop. But then again, certain games on the iPad are more enjoyable with the touch screen, like Darkest Dungeon or this Wolfmind, for example. Even XCOM, I think I prefer playing XCOM using a touchscreen instead of mouse and keyboard. It's just more comfortable. My main problem when it comes to gaming on the MSI gaming laptop is it gets very noisy. It's not very noisy right now because I'm not doing anything. But if I start up a game, the fans on this thing are so loud. It sounds like an aeroplane taking off and it does get a little bit annoying and it gets very hot as well. When you play games on the iPad, you don't have that problem. Number one, there's no fans in the iPad. There's no fans in the iPad to make any noise in the first place. So even if you're playing XCOM or Darkest Dungeon, there's going to be absolutely no noise. Zero noise. Can you hear that? That's what no noise sounds like. And even when you're playing games, it just sounds like this no noise. It's great. I love being able to play games and the fan it isn't irritating me. So apart from games, why would you get an iPad instead of a laptop? Well, I think the iPad can do pretty much everything that a laptop can do. Obviously there's certain things that it can't do and that depends on what you do as a person for your job or for your studies. So for example, if you're doing coding or web development, then obviously you're going to want the laptop because you won't be able to do those things on an iPad. But if you're like me and you don't really do coding or 3D modeling or anything technical, then the iPad will be able to do everything that the laptop can do. And even better in some cases, you want to do video editing, you can do that. I found a great app for video editing recently. It's called Kind Master. And I used to use an app called Video Leap before. But it kept crashing randomly. Kind Master never crashes, so I definitely recommend it. Um, let me show you Kind Master quickly. So you just add files, videos here, and then you can slide the left and right. You can split the footage, and you can detach audio. You can add music. You can do everything that you'd want from a video editor. It's pretty much perfect, I think. That's my wife at the Airbnb. <laughs> Who remembers the Airbnb? For me personally, the only time I ever use the MSI gaming laptops when I want to play Rainbow Six. And when I don't play Rainbow Six, I don't use the laptop because I can do everything I'd want to do on the laptop on the iPad. I guess a bonus, one bonus of having the laptop is you get a proper keyboard, which is nice, and it has colors, and it feels good to type on. You can get several different types of keyboard covers for the iPad. None of them are really good, even the official Apple keyboard, smart keyboard, doesn't feel good to type on. I went to the to the electronics store and they have the Apple keyboard attached to the models. And I tried typing on it and there's no, there's no, I don't know how to describe it, there's no sound when you press the buttons and they don't move up and down. Well, they do slightly, but it just feels spongy. They don't feel like proper buttons. When you press a button, you want to see it move up and down like this. But on the iPad, official keyboard cover, it, it just feels wrong. But you can get all these other third-party keyboards. And this is one of the keyboards I bought for the iPad because I thought it looked cool. And I've actually broken it. There was supposed to be another part of the case here where you clip the iPad in. And I clipped it in and I tried taking it out again and it was really difficult. I had to use a knife to pry open the case to pull my iPad back out. So I thought, I'm never going to put my iPad back into there. So I decided to snap it off. This is the hinge. See this hinge bit? That's where it attached to. But you can still use it. It's a Bluetooth keyboard. And it also has lighting, as you can see. And it just... The problem is I don't have a stand now to put the iPad on, so I have to hold it like this. And you can just do typing, like on the keyboard. If you get a proper stand, then you can put it behind the keyboard and then you can just type away. And this keyboard's actually pretty good. I quite enjoy typing on it. It, it feels satisfying. The keys feel like the keys on the laptop. 
and there's also lots of shortcuts you have this copy and paste key copy paste you can play videos and then press this button to pause and play it there's a volume button here see it changes the volume and this one minimizes your apps there's also the command tab which lets you switch between different apps and um, what else can you do you can change the brightness of the keyboard lights oh you can also change the color let me zoom in okay so if you press this rgb button you can change between red blue purple green light blue dark blue green red so you get quite a wide variety of different colors so it's it's a good keyboard it feels nice to type on my only complaint would be well it would have been nice if the the, this part of the case, the lid that attaches to your iPad, it would have been nice if it was magnetic instead of plastic. So you could just easily detach and attach the iPad onto it. Otherwise, it's a good keyboard, I think. Well made. Not bad. I don't really use it personally because I don't do a lot of typing. I don't do any work that involves typing. I, I make videos on YouTube. And the other reason why I think the iPad is better than the laptop is because it's just more comfortable to use. You can hold it like this, you can sit back in your chair, relax, you know, sit back and just hold it like this, tap here, tap there. On the laptop, you can't really do that. Well, you could put the laptop onto your lap, as the name suggests, but it's really heavy and it gets very hot. And then you can't really use the mouse, you have to use the crappy touchpad. So you really need a surface like a table to comfortably use a laptop. With the iPad, you can just be sitting on the toilet and be holding, you could be holding it like this. You could be sitting on the bed. Sometimes I like to sit over there on the bed with the pillow propped up against the wall. And I just sit there with my legs crossed with my iPad and it's great. Don't need the laptop. I actually kind of regret buying the MSI gaming laptop. I wish I didn't buy it because I'm a bit bored with Rainbow Six now. I don't play it much. I played Darkest Dungeon, and I could have saved myself a thousand pounds plus if I just didn't buy the laptop, if I just bought the iPad first. The iPad is so much cooler, I mean look at it, it's so sleek and pretty and lightweight, and the screen is also a hundred times better than the laptop screen, so much more bright and vibrant. And uh, the speakers are also a lot better on the iPad, you've got four on each side, I mean two and then plus two. On the laptop, I don't even know where the speakers are. They're, they're like underneath the keyboard and they sound terrible. So if anyone wants to buy my MSI gaming laptop, leave a comment. How about 700 pounds? 700 pounds is a good price. I've hardly used it. I took it to Germany. Took it to Germany, played it for a few weeks. That's it really, I haven't really used it a lot. And that's the end of this video. Let me know what you would like me to compare the iPad to next. Maybe I can do a comparison between my Samsung S10. Who knows? The possibilities are endless.